Welcome back, guys. Um, right, so we're going straight back in um, where we left off. We have finished battle preparations, um, or we are about to finish battle preparations, I believe, um, because we have ticked off everything that was on our to-do list for the quest. Um, the last thing to do um, is to go and speak to Avalach, which is what we'll go and do in the next scene. Um, I have a feeling there's going to be quite a lot of cutscenes. You get a feeling for these things after playing the game for so long when there's going to be a cutscene bonanza where they're setting up for what's going to happen next in the story and I think that's what's going to happen now. Um, well, I believe so. I mean, if you think about how um, we are, we've collected everything, we've collected all the sorceresses we need, we've collected the sunstone, we've set the scene for um, almost like a coup d'etat um so and and you know the betrayal of um of eridin so i do wonder if this means we're going to have like you know a round table discussion like we always do before a big battle we'll see um and just to recap from the last video i did say that was going to go around that last cave system that was the elven ruins uh for the sunstone quest definitely worth doing that you don't have to do that if you want to just complete the quest first with um, Philippa, do that stuff with Philippa. And then you're free to have a roam afterwards. You don't need to go with her. Well, she doesn't let you anyway. She's a bit of a bitch um, in that way. She just turns herself into an owl and gets out of there. So you have a chance to run around and it is definitely worth doing it. Don't go straight for the entrance. There's lots of little um, chests around. You also get a second chance to up the, I think it's Igni. Um, place of power so obviously you get your ability point when you do it the first time round but you can recharge them so it's worth going back and recharging the Igni sign so that you've got that fully up um, and there is a hidden treasure in there um, so it's worth going in I'm not going to spoil it too much uh, because it's not, it's not really that difficult um, but for the hidden treasure so this is a spoiler alert if you don't want to hear it skip um once you've killed uh the venomous arachnid that's there's only one there is a side room with a hidden treasure and it has spikes that pop up and these spikes if you aren't fully prepared will kill you they are a sort of one trick pony in terms of like you are dead after you've just been you know you don't get a oh this this stings a bit and you can get get the treasure no it will kill you <laughs> so fully yard yourself up get a potion popped if you're not quick enough um, and then you can get the treasure. Uh, so that's my warning for that. Um, right, so we're going to go straight into the game now and we're going to continue with the last part of battle preparations. Alright, I've sold everything, repaired, made sure I've got the potions ready because you just don't know what's going to happen next um, and that was a long cave journey so you do get some damage worth doing all that Can you toss an axe? I, they're probably going to say are you ready to go so you, you would get a chance if you weren't ready to do all that okay. or maybe they're just going to have a long winded chat with me really likely as well there he is. I never doubted you would. Yes, Geralt. Oh, so yeah, should we ask about the laboratory? Because we did we did have a sneak. Went by your laboratory. I trust you did not make a mess. Didn't mention you were the NL Elves' chief source of knowledge about Ciri's abilities. I didn't mention many things. Fortunately, they're no longer important. Your experiments with the gene, elder blood, that's not important. I pursued those studies to protect Ciri. To protect Lara Doran's blood in whomever's veins it courses. Oh. Okay. That's interesting. Oh, so we get to ask a bit more. Maybe this is all about Lara for you. I... I suspect that. So maybe you're hoping to gain control of Lara herself after all these years? Lara is dead. My only hope is that Ciri will fulfill her calling and survive. Hmm. I don't know what all that was about. All those like quest hints that we'd done something. 
maybe that has an effect on something. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I was never going to say I believe you. I still feel that he's not telling us everything. How's Margarita? Margarita any better? I managed to accelerate tissue regeneration. She's feeling much better. In fact, we must bring Erid in here as soon as possible. Otherwise, I'm afraid these sorceresses of yours will start fighting amongst themselves. Oh, goodness. Right, this is leading on to a ton of stuff. Uh, so these are stun so what then? I do wonder. They've never given us so much to ask before. So it, I do feel like we'll get some nuggets of information by doing this. You can obviously skip to when I hit number one if you don't want to... You know, we've seen it all or you don't want to read it or listen to it, but this may be interesting. Once we use the Sunstone, what makes you think Aridin won't figure things out? I doubt he'll think the Elves of the White Fleet suddenly long to see him. We can alter the signal emitted by the Sunstone. Unlikely Aridin will recognize its origin. It's not the only artifact to possess this power. There are others? Great. Now mind telling me why I had to scour Skellige looking for this one? The Sunstone was the easiest to find, believe me. From the look of things, pretty soon Ciri won't need your help anymore. Nor yours. True. She'll do whatever she wants, and I'll support her. What about you? Ready to let her live her own life? I shan't force her to do anything, if that's your question. Mm -hmm. Charming world you and Elle have got. Could easily fall in love with the place. Tell me, how do you do it? Sit around playing flute, painting rutting unicorns and gorgeous landscapes, building ornately sculpted towers? And then you murder us, without batting an eye, without a hint of guilt. How? Do you humans feel guilt when you murder Enshe elves? Or dwarves? Or dryads? We are the same. Simply because we both firmly believe others are inferior. Fair point. So that's not true of every human. Tell me something more about Caranthir. Know him well? Know him? I reared him. Raised, don't you mean? No, Geralt. I began shaping him long before he was born. For centuries, I brought together pairs of elves manifesting certain abilities, those brought able to together. manipulate time and space. He is the result of these efforts. Caranthir. A golden child. You bred him. Golden child who grew up to be a criminal. Oh dear. Lovely. You imprisoned Ciri the first time you met her. Now you protect her while fighting against your own kind. Quite an about face. First of all, I did not imprison her. She found me. It was her destiny. Yeah, sure. Get to the second of all. Why are you helping her? Because she is a danger. A mortal one. You look at her and see a human, a ward, a daughter even. I look and see the Elder Blood. A power that can destroy the world. A power that must be kept from Eredin's power-addled hands at all costs. Admittedly, our motives differ. Yet in spite of that, we share a goal. So, you would be wise to trust me. Or at least try. Hmm. I mean, he's a very good speaker, but that doesn't mean anything. I'll hold judgment till I have more information. I don't know the story, so everything's going to be a shock to me in the end. And obviously things like the Netflix series have not completed, so still don't know what's going to happen there. So let's go. Everything's ready. We can go to Unvik. We found the Sunstone. Gelban's gift to Dillion of the White Flea. As legend has it, she never used the stone and Gelban died of sorrow. Won't keep Aridin waiting that long. It seems we've everything. We can go. Keep in mind, once we commit, there'll be no returning. Okay. Well, as I say, I've already... so. They, there you go, there's your meet you on, on Vic um, trigger, so if you haven't prepared, done everything you need to do, that's when you need to do it. We have, so let's go. I'm ready. High time we set sail. Undvik awaits. 
In that case, let's go. You will position yourselves on the cliffs. Here, here, and... Thank you. I believe we know how to form a circle. <laughs> Even those of us who lack eyes for the moment. I simply wish to avoid... Oh, Geralt. We were waiting for you. How nice. <laughs> really? Looks like you started without me. Let's go with how nice. That's nice of you. You were about to explain your plan? It's simple. Which does not mean it will be easy to execute. I shall activate the Sunstone. If Caranthia answers the call, the Nagel Fair should appear in the bay shortly afterwards. The Lodge must then prevent the ship from returning to the world of the NL, while the Imperial fleet blocks its escape by sea. The 7th Imlet's Infantry Regiment under Duke Varatra must then board it. With your help, naturally. Emperor's not stingy. And you? Yeah, let's ask him what he's gonna do. What about you? Where will you be? Waiting in reserve. If something goes wrong, I shall react. Hmm. Like a general commanding troops from a hilltop? Gonna signal us by horn or use messengers? Exquisite irony, but what did I do to deserve it? Have I given you cause to doubt my intentions? Ladies and gentlemen, less talk, more action, please. Sisters. We must scale the cliffs. Good luck. <laughs> Cheers. Plan is missing one wipe. important element. What about Siri? Cyril will wait. At a safe distance from the Nagel Fair. No, she won't. <laughs> Do you know her? Yeah, guessing that wasn't Siri's idea. Wild guess. Not what you had in mind. No. I wanted to go with you. That was my idea. But I won't allow it. Far too great a risk. Hmm. Oh, I was a battle within me because I agree with him. But... She made a decision to not hide anymore. She's got to face the fact that she's probably one of the most powerful um, fighters they have against the Wild Hunt. Yeah, if they get their hands on her, it's all for nothing. I'm going to back Siri because I don't think... I mean, I don't, I don't know, maybe she won't end up coming anyway, but I'm going to back Siri because I, I do think that she's an asset. Don't have the right to order her around. Amusing. Zirel said the same thing, only at much higher volume. I do, in fact, have this right. For only I know how to activate the Sunstone, which I shall do on my terms or not at all. Tyrell recognized the strength of my argument. I have no doubt you will do the same. What, you mean your blackmail, not your argument? Cyril, do you swear to stay on shore? Do I have a choice? Where are you going? For a walk. Or is that not allowed either? Because I could break my leg. <laughs> Mic drop. Oh, yes. <laughs> The Elder Blood can be fiery. Oh, that has nothing to do with Elder Brov. Uh, Elder Brov? <laughs> Brov, that has nothing to do with the Elder Blood. Um, yeah. Got her personality from her father. Bidding Siri from doing things is pointless. Yeah, let's not bring him here into this. Telling Siri she can't do something is counterproductive. Speaking from experience there. Ultimately, she does what she wants. Let us hope. Pardon me? Never mind. Does he know she's going to go? Time is short. That's if you weird. wish to do something, brew your substances or whatnot, do it now. You won't get the chance later. 
I shall await you by the boats amongst the soldiers. Hmm. Yen, why are you here? To see you. Something happened? Not yet, but it might soon. We may not survive this. In fact, our chances are slim. Uh, Yen doesn't panic. One is a lie, so we'll go with two. Well, we are here to battle Aridin and the Wild Hunt at full strength. Could be like Sodden. Could be worse. Nothing could be worse than Sodden was. Listen to me. Once it's over, if we survive, I wish to leave. Go far away. And I'd like you to come with me. Just what Philippa wanted. Where? Wherever. To Povis. Beyond the Dragon Mountains, Zeracania even. As far as possible from politics, plots, and so-called high society. You drop in politics, that'll be today. Let's go with one. I'd go anywhere with you. Ooh. The answer I was hoping for. Go, Geralt. Avalaka waits. And don't get killed, Witcher. Oh, I hope that was the right choice. Half of me doesn't want to give Philippa what she wants, but then again, that's what Yen wants, so... I wonder if... Um... In a way, Yen has a feeling that Ciri doesn't want to be part of whatever the Emperor has got planned for her. She feels too much of a wild spirit for that. I don't think she wants to be anyone's puppet. So if that's the case, I wonder if Yen's got fantasies of living a family life away from it all. I don't know. I don't think they could be like Little House on the Prairie, because <laughs> that's not them. <laughs> but um, just away from what she's been a part of, it's just too cutthroat, even for her. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave this one here because I've got a feeling the next is going to be quite long. Um, so I'll stop this one here. And then in the next video, we'll obviously be heading towards um, another battle scene. It looks like, by the sounds of it, Caranthia is going to be one that we're going to be fighting. Well, it, that's obvious because we've defeated Baldy up on Bald Mountain. Um, Eridin's the main boss guy. Gels is now not part of it, hopefully. He's part of the coup d'etat. And uh, so that just leaves Caranthia and Eridin. So I've got a feeling it'll be like... Maybe it'll be waves again, I don't know. That's what they like to do, they like to chuck, chuck the hounds at us, don't they, and stuff like that. But Caranthia should be an interesting fight, because all we got to see of Caranthia in the last lot was him with Eskel. But we never got to actually fight him. He was, he was only there to pull Eridin away, or to fight Eskel, with a little bit of Siri chucked in for good measure. Um, so that's interesting. Oh, I wonder if we're going to be Siri as well. Because they like to do that. They like to chuck us in double team us. So that would be interesting. I don't... I, well, she's been told to stay put and she doesn't like to stay put. So we know what that's going to that's gonna mean. And there was that cryptic, I hope so, from um, Avalak. Which almost makes me feel like she's going to do what she's going to do. Because it's destiny and she needs to be there. She needs to fight. But at the right moment, maybe. I don't know. Maybe she'll be part of the Eridin boss fight. Anyway, it's, it's getting good now by the looks of it. So um, I'm getting excited for um, more boss fight scenes, more um, more of what we had at, um, at Witcher HQ. <laughs> so uh, stay safe, stay amazing, and I'll see you in the next video.